Brain disorders are some of modern medicine's greatest challenges, but new research suggests the solution to treating and preventing Alzheimer's, depression, and autism doesn't lie in the brain at all. Joining us now, the author of Brain Maker, The Power of Gut Microbes to Heal and Protect Your Brain for Life, Dr. David Perlmutter. Nice to see you this morning. Glad to be back, Clayton. Welcome to the show. And of course, a few years ago, you were on the show for your first big book, which was called uh, Grain Brain. And that book really changed the way that my family eats, uh, cutting back on a lot of the, the whole wheat and grain and getting, getting rid of a lot of the carbohydrates in our diet. Tell us about the new book. How are you changing our lives again? So it's a new playing field. We now now understand that the gut and the brain are connected. They're not in separate places and that everything going on in your gut right now, moment to moment, is affecting not only how your brain is working, but in addition, your risk long term for worrisome things like Alzheimer's, MS, Parkinson's. And we even see a dramatic relationship between the gut bacteria, the bacteria living within the gut, which we call the microbiome. Uh, and things like depression and even autism. Now, let's talk about that. You say in the book to eat fermented foods. What are we talking about here? So foods, meaning that they're fermented, uh, means that they have higher levels of probiotic bacteria. Uh, during the process of fermentation, these bacteria replicate or become more numerous. We're talking about things like kimchi, cultured yogurt, this very popular drink that people are drinking called kombucha. And these are, are fermented foods that, again, enrich your body with great bacteria. One of the problems doctors are facing is antibiotics, the overprescription of antibiotics. And you say, don't, you know, it's unnecessary to take a lot of these because what does it do to our gut when we take antibiotics? And that's true. And everybody would agree that we're overusing antibiotics. Our most well respected journals, like the Journal of the American Medical Association, are telling doctors like myself, hey, you need to back off. Why? Because when you take antibiotics excessively, uh, you are traumatizing these bacteria in your gut. And understand that this is the key now that we finally have to open the door to things like curing diseases of the brain, reducing depression, helping people finally lose weight who were so stuck and were eating the wrong foods. Now when we reprogram good bacteria by choosing the right foods, we can lose weight, become less depressed, and really begin to protect the brain against some of these really devastating conditions. In your, in your first book, Grain Brain, you really talked about staying low carb carb. You're not going away from that in the new book and how important that is. In this lifetime, is. I couldn't do that. Yeah. Uh, but again, low carb. Um, we know that carbohydrates that are in, involved with fiber, so fiber-rich carbs are good for the gut. But, you know, people are just overdoing the carbs. And here's uh, an interesting point. So what do people do then if you want to drink a soda and it's got sugar in it? People think, well, maybe I'll just have the, the sugar-free, the diet soda. And that's even more devastating in terms of weight gain and risk risk for type 2 diabetes worse than drinking the sugar sweetened beverage. Now that's you're you're surprised and yeah. it is surprising but be, it's happening because of the effect of the artificial sweetener on the gut bacteria. Hmm. Well what Brainmaker is all about is you made these mistakes, and here's how you can fix it. The new book, Brain Maker, is out now. Go out and pick it up. Dr. David Perlmutter, always great to see you here on Fox & Friends. Good to see you too, Clayton. Thanks so much. Okay.